Well, hello everyone, this is Randy here again. Another episode of Fireman Simulator 2013. And we are playing more realistic on the Hirn Hussin map. And I finished uh, harvesting that field we started from last episode. Got it all harvested up and sold. We got $192,000 at the moment, so... Yeah, we made roughly 150 off that field. Give or take a little bit, so... And this happens to be a field we own right here, I believe. So we're going to get this harvested up, and that way I can at least replant this field. And I'm just going to hire a worker for this one, I guess. And this is a wheat here, so... I think we might have all the barley fields done. Okay, change that. Maybe not. We got one more barley field, looks like. Maybe two more. No, I think we are working on 15 right there. No, 15 still growing yet. Okay. I was going to say, I don't remember seeing another barley field. One right behind us. That's interesting. How are you doing? Nah. Absolutely not. Why? He gets stuck every now and then. I'm not sure what uh, what his problem is, but uh, but uh, what can we do about this? I think another plow and tractor might be in order. And technically, I probably don't actually have to plow, so I could get away without a plow, but eh, since I started that field, I kind of like to finish plowing it, so. Oh, let's see, so we'll just uh, park this monstrosity. And I do kind of want to keep the tractor at the moment. I probably could get rid of the plow. I don't uh, foresee using it. We got enough money. We should be able to afford something slightly bigger. Ah, uh, 26, uh, whoa, 315 horsepower. 200. Well, technically our uh, John Deere has that much horsepower, so that might work. Uh, we could also get that one. That's seven. This is eight. I think in my experience, the uh, hired workers work better with this one, so... I think we're going to get that one. Yeah, don't have any mod plows, so... Actually, that bottom one is a mod plow, but I think pretty sure it comes with more realistic. I don't think I put that one in the game that I remember. And uh, let's just reset it. I don't feel like driving all the way over there to get it. And uh, yes, there it is. Eh, it's going to be a fun location to get. And hopefully this tractor has more, enough oomph to uh, pull it. Definitely should. I won't know why not. <laughs> that looks like a, roll, a couple rolls of toilet paper there to me. I don't know what. What do you folks think? I'm going to say that's what that is. Maybe not, but, uh... Okay, I think I want to turn the plow.
Okay, let's uh, see if we can get this lined up a little bit better here. Apparently this tractor must have plow script on it too. Let's see how that works. Not very well, that's for sure. It's not going in, that's the problem. Not sure why it's not going in though. It's kind of weird. Anyway, I was planning on doing some cultivating this episode. That's what I'm going to do. Well, it looks like it's set to the right width already. Oh, well, maybe not. Not quite. Let's see if it... Uh yeah, okay, that looks a lot closer. Let's see if on the next pass he puts that plow in. I'm not too concerned if he misses a little bit, because like I said, I'm going to come back through with a cultivator here, so... Which technically, I probably don't have to have the cultivator either, because I that uh, planter we have can... Uh, I was going to say can cultivate. It's not really a can cultivate, but... Uh, it can do uh, no-till drills, so... That is, oh, that was lowered. Okay. Now you're still not working. Interesting. Um, that is interesting. Like I say, I have used this cultivator before, and I know it works. So... That plow most definitely does not work, though. Stop right there. I want to switch out uh, implements here and see if that will help. Nothing, huh? Okay. Well, I don't feel like uh, just buying cultivators and finding out which one works, because I happen to know this one works. So... The question is why it doesn't here. The plow I'm not surprised by. I have seen that before, so... My experience, though, it seems like it has a lot to do with the tractor you run it on, so... Might need some more weight on the front of this tractor. Yes, sir. We need some more weight on the front of this tractor. Think we can either. Oh, wait, we can. Ballast. Uh, numpad, enter. 0.8 ton. Uh, that might be enough. Eh, not really. Uh, an old plow script on this tractor from looks of it. That might help. Ah, uh, yes. I've noticed that where uh, the plow script on the tractors, that can sometimes, seems like it goose up this plow. Actually, uh, this plow, and I think the, uh, both of these plows, if I remember correctly. This one I haven't noticed so much. I've never really had a problem with this one, but that's mainly because it's not, uh, it's got an extra wheel there primarily rides on, so. And now, this cultivator. Why this cultivator doesn't work? That one baffles me. It is folded. It's not lowered at the moment. That would probably help. Huh. That's weird. Can I not uh, cultivate these fields for some reason? Because I cannot uh, cultivate that field over there either. Oh, uh, what do we got for cultivators? 
Well, I can definitely afford a cultivator. Can I afford a tractor? Actually, let me look here. What uh, horsepower were we looking at? I'm pretty sure that was 150 again, if I remember correctly. Yes, the Amazon Catros 5,500. We need 150 to 200. And according to the tech specs, our John Deere had that, so that's... Um, maybe we'll try that one. Uh, and we got this one. This only has 142 horsepower, so you know we're right at the limit or at the edge of it there. Uh, Hurley Man 165. But we can afford that if we have to. Okay. We can afford this guy if we have to too. Oh, we can even afford that guy. Okay. I'll tell you what, let's uh, start with a different cultivator, because that's cheaper than a tractor. Let's try that one. That still leaves us with enough money if we have to uh, purchase a tractor. Okay, and why'd you stop? Oh, you got a car in front of you. Well, that's annoying. I'm assuming that's why you stopped there. It's, uh... And I don't know why this is, but the vehicles just kind of tend to build up here. They do eventually clean themselves out, but uh, I think you guys need to be a little, you know, ruder and just uh, maybe pull out in front of each other or something. I don't know what tier, but uh, let me uh, this cultivator in this field here and uh, reset the other one. And if this don't work, uh, I probably would uh, Actually, what was the horsepower on this one? 150, same to 200, okay. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what horsepower this tractor has, but I'm guessing it's gotta be 200-ish somewhere. It could be a lot more than that too, I'm not sure, but it's, I'm sure we got enough to pull this rather wimpy looking cultivator behind this rather massive looking tractor. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, see, it looks like they uh, cleared themselves out there. Hopefully, once that happened, our plow guy kept going. Oh, uh, maybe he stopped. No, he is hired. There's nothing in front of him. Okay. He's gonna go that way. I'd rather you went the other way. <laughs> Uh, that's interesting. Not enough power to the transmission. Yeah, he's uh, stuck on the fence there. I uh, may be better off just uh, setting him to go this way, I think. That'll uh, make him avoid the road, hopefully. Okay, let's uh, cross our fingers and toes and anything else we can cross and hope this works. That does. Excellent. Okay. Can uh, breathe a sigh of relief there. I'm not entirely sure why the other cultivator does not work then, though. Let's 
uh, must have something to do with this map, I would think, because I've used that cultivator before, like I've said before. Okay, I've said that a few times now. Uh, that cultivator worked just fine in the uh, two valley map and the uh, Hagenstead map, so... Not sure why it won't work here. Seeing how the hired worker can go in increment angles. I wonder if the GPS mod can too. I don't think so. It looks like it's straight to me, but uh, kind of hard to tell on this map. Yeah, to my knowledge, the GPS mod can only do uh, 45. I think, as far as I can, as far as I can remember, anyway. Pretty much only ever use it to do 90s, but uh, I think you can do 45 as well. And what is he doing over there? Nothing good from the looks of it. Roadside. Okay. Yeah, I actually had the other John Deere get uh, stuck on a couple road signs as well, so that don't particularly surprise me. Okay, that's hopefully that's uh, lined up good enough. Yeah, it's definitely a small looking cultivator behind this tractor. Maybe we should have gone with like the John Deere one or something. Okay, you're gonna stay there? I think you stopped. I think that's what he did. It's probably going at the uh, 45 like that. He'll think he's done. Oh, no, he is going yet. Okay. Ah, I just cultivated that. A little prick. Cultivator doesn't quite look right with that back piece sticking up like that. Uh, that should definitely be down, I think. Definitely a dark looking uh, texture on this uh, cultivated texture. Must be some uh, real dark, rich soil from the looks of it, maybe. Probably wet.
Yeah, looks like the John Deere's doing his job. That's good. What time we got a John Deere to do his job? Yeah, I'll probably uh, hang on to the other John Deere for a while yet, uh, only because it has a front and loader on it, so it will probably come in use at some point. Actually, at some point, we'll probably need something to uh, put the uh, silage into our mixing station, so we'll probably need a front end loader for that yet, at least. Something I was considering too is if I could uh, switch out the sounds on our 4850 there and put them on uh, the other map I'm playing for the, uh, trying to think what, I think it's a 4955. If I remember correctly, I think, I'm pretty sure that was a 4955. I wanted to see if I could switch those sounds out. I gotta look into that yet. It's something I had uh, thought about doing. Not a particular fan of the sound on that uh, 4950 I have at the moment on the uh, Feldkirchen map. Yeah, it sounds like the uh, engine on that uh, 4955 is you know, about ready to puke, so with a slight uh, you know, sound upgrade we can uh, fix that problem with the... Uh, and hopefully it does sound a little better maybe. Not that I'm a particularly a big fan of the sound on that one either, but uh, at least the uh, 4850 there sounds better than the 4955 we have. Interesting, he actually keeps on plowing there. If he doesn't keep on plowing too far, he'll definitely uh, rip up our uh, cultivated work. Show me the end of the world, though. Like I said, our cedar can uh, plant no till, so. Yeah, if we miss a little bit here and there, not the end of the world. Okay, careful, otherwise we're going to get stuck on the same sign as the uh, John Deere was. Yeah, some of the signs on this map you can knock over, and some of them are pretty much you know, rock solid. You cannot be uh, moved. Oh, I think John thinks he's done now. I may just let him think that too. I might just uh, cultivate the rest of this field myself. At least that plow definitely worked a lot better than the other John Deere with the uh, little plow. Although that plow did not work so good on this uh, Steiger, but uh, like I said before, I think that may have something to do with that plow spec that's on these tractors. I've noticed that uh, caused problems before, so I'm going to blame it on that, at least for the moment. 
you know, Paul's back looks good and all, but uh, in reality, its function sometimes is eh, more annoying than anything. That's what it was uh, getting our John Deere stuck as well. Oops. Car tip in there. Tried to tip him. Let's go over a part that's not been plowed here and see if there's a difference. So we're going about 4.7 mile an hour now. Let's see if it makes a difference over a non-plowed area. More realistic, there's uh, supposed to be a difference between you know, plowed and non-plowed, so it's kind of supposed to encourage you to plow your field. But... Uh, And maybe a little bit of difference there, because we were going about 4.7, now we're 4.4. Yeah, for a third of a mile an hour, I'm definitely not worth plowing your field for. Might make a difference with the tractor size you have, but... Uh Okay, folks, and I think we'll uh, call it an episode here. I will probably finish cultivating this field up off screen. And I should probably check how our combine's doing, too. He's probably full. Uh, okay, he's not even close to being full. He went the wrong way. So much for that. Well, folks, yeah, well, like I said, we'll call it an episode here. If you have any comments or questions, uh, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching. Till next time.